Hello guys, my name is Bernie and you welcome to Runsoft Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at installing a drop code plugin. I've had a couple of uh, requests onto my, for my, my, for my forum. Many of my friends have been writing to me uh, asking me how I, uh, I did install the drop code uh, plugins. Now, for those of you who don't know who are watching this video and you're wondering what, what kind of uh, <laughs> stuff this guy is really talking about, uh, it's okay, it's fine. Drop code, uh, drop code uh, plugins are just a uh, uh, a special effect in a that are that are used to to make graphics and uh, they're used in a, a couple of softwares, including uh, uh, After Effects and uh, Cut Pro and lots of other softwares. But today uh, we're going to I'm just going to take you through this very fast and uh, you just pay a little attention. Now, when you go to the when you go to the Top Code website, that is w uh, www.topcode.com, and uh, you look at uh, all of this stuff, you see this cool stuff that's right here. That's what exactly it is this this uh, this plugins make. And um, if you haven't yet got your hands on the uh, After Effects, please, it's a recommendation you really do. And now here you see that there are downloads, downloads, but once you try to click on any of those, you're going to get a demo version. Yes, I made a demo version. So, what do we do? Somebody <laughs> is going to ask me, what, what am I going to do to <laughs> to get a real vi full version? Because today things about uh, the free software movement. Okay, hello, follow with me. So, I just go to my pirate bay. I look for my pirate bay that, that arg. When I get to my pirate bay that arg, all I'm going to put in is trap card. And there it is. I've already got it. So uh, I'll just wait within a minute. Uh, and then I have lots lots of options to download from, but then I'll choose this one. Any of them can work. You just have to pass through, read on the comments whether the guy's saying about it, if they have a virus or not. Then I download, I'll say open, and then I'll say OK. Then as soon as I realize it, my download is already finished, then I just have to click it open. I'll just say open containing folder. When I open the containing folder I see my red giant uh, trap cord is right here. Then I just go open it then you just uh, I'm just going to show you uh, um, just a, uh, a sample of one but the instructions are all the same. You just have to do the same stuff. So I go to my trap cord it download uh, it, it is finished uh, then here I just say yes and uh, I s just click it open then I just say continue saying yes 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 but wait a minute wait a minute when I go back here remember there is um, these are uh, my crack that is the crack CD of that but that speci uh, uh, specific uh, the plugin and I if I um, see it, the couple of a couple of uh, Siri numbers that are down here that you have to input in manually. You can't copy and paste with this. So I go back. I was about to click next, and then yes. Uh huh. Then it, it asks you, are you installing a demo version, or you ent you, you want to enter the Siri number? But then with me, my Siri number is already there. Some of you say you you last be that. Hey, I tried installing the software, but I didn't see my Siri number getting written. Hello, wake up. I I already installed this. Uh, already on my machine so the reason as to why is just bringing the software and the serial number in directly is because it already exists so no need but you have to put it, it in directly or manually so it's done and then yes and then uh, do you wish to restart your computer now no no I don't want to do that and then it takes you to the to our uh, the trap code website so that you can um, uh, fill in that registration uh, registration uh, form I don't need that maybe you do need that guys and then uh, uh, for that I'll just do the same for the rest of the product that, that we're remaining that's uh, uh, the rest of the product that we're inside here all of these I'll just do the same and then after when I finish I'll go to my uh, I'll go to my after effects and start it up the problem comes that whenever you start up, after installing them, uh, for, for many people, you, uh, the many of you who are uh, my friends who have been complaining, maybe you haven't yet complained, but my friends who have been complaining, they have been saying that when they install the plugins, after uh, after the, after installing, they open up the startup uh, After Effects, 
and when they go to the effects channel they can never access the, 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 tra the trap code effects they can never get them anywhere and they were wondering where they are but hold on homies don't worry about anything you just did all things right and fine your computer has no problem and neither do you have any problem just go to your system folder to your system folder and we just see one thing clearly uh, when you go to the system folder you go to the program files once you're in the program files just try to scro scroll down and look for trap code majorly when you see trap code I see trap code I see trap code I have three you may be having one don't blame yourself still because uh, you may have installed one set of, uh, of the plugins but I have three different sets so I click inside here I see that I have a couple of effects they're showing me that they, they, they're in they're really installed and they're, they're even in oh my god let me see, they are in, I can't believe this, they are all in, but why is my After Effects not reflecting it every time I want to use the trap code under the effects channel? Uh, so what am I going to do? This is what you're going to do, follow with me cl clearly. You just have to copy your trap code information, all trap code folders, and then you go to the mother Adobe CS3 folder, that's Adobe, and then you look for your Adobe After Effects CS4. You may be using a different version, maybe CS3 or maybe CS2. Then you just open, it's still the same procedures, much, nothing much will change here. Then you go to your support files and then you look for a folder known as the plugins. When Once you're there, you look for your effects. Ta-da! There you are. Copy and paste them directly. Just paste. For me, I have already... I already have them down here so I won't do that again but for you that's what you're gonna do so after doing that assuming that you're you're all with me please if uh, if I'm a little bit more fast just so you just have to slow down this video go back and uh, try to follow up with me we shall keep on waiting for you and uh, then you come down here you copy this file you see this, this Mr. Big guy you copy it and then you go back to the same mother, mother file and then you go to add up and then support files and then you go to the plugins this time I'm gonna put it into here and here, drop it down here, paste it there, paste it there, and paste it there. Once you're done, it's okay, it's all fine. Just shut down all of these and then just go start up your After Effects. Let me just show you something before before I proceed. B before we proceed any further, I just want to close down these and then I just want to start it again just to show you something very 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 weird. <laughs> Sorry. So. I'm assuming that we all setting up our After Effects, Adobe After Effects. There it goes. There it goes. A message box. A warning message box. I hate message boxes. Oh my god. Oh my. Now, once you see this, it shouldn't scare you at all like it did to me. You actually just have to keep on clicking because it says to, uh, you have installed uh, you, uh, the exist, uh, the, the ROGS are uh, row bounds on your drive it exists in a, in a multiple times and uh, some of it some of which may be of the old version that's what it thinks but I think I put them there because I need them it failed to do it for me I did it for myself so you just keep on clicking it until it get lost yep so ta ta da we in we in but uh, how am I sure that this thing really works am I fooling myself we just go ahead create a new composition um, just close it, it's already there, you go to new, I'll create a test this time and then when I reach to my text, I'll just choose my text as a, hmm, let me see hmm, top code, let me use top code, use top code okay, let me use top code okay, there we go, I have selected top code, then after selecting top code, I make sure I've selected this down here but uh, we've been not doing it, <laughs> I'm not doing a tutorial for, for after effects, uh, whatever you nothing much i'm just showing you how this stuff we're just testing whether it works when you go to your effects panel if you didn't follow exactly and you didn't do the steps that i did i hope if you were once or if, if you have just installed those files you won't be having this down here that's the trap code but now we have it and then we can go in here and then select anything maybe the shine let's, let's try out the shine oh no we've taken the particular the particular Let's just go back. Um, yes, select shine, and then I turn on this, on that, on that, on that, on that, and then I just want to. We want to test it together. Not I just. I just do 